So, you know, the last thing that I'd like to talk about before we go, Ginger, is that, um, you know, we, we read a lot. We blog and we read what's going on. We go to all the shows. We just came from the Long Beach Hair Show. I mean, we're huge on being the first people in the industry to kind of find out what the new trends are and then bring them back to all of the other stylists and then, of course, to the end user, you know, our clients. And I was really shocked about the article we read last night. Um, talking about um, people in on the East Coast that said that the micro shea or the sheer strings have a lot of hype mm -hmm. and that it's they're really not all that. Yeah, that was really quite shocking to me. It was, it was really shocking. And I think the reason that it's so shocking is because this system was invented for fine baby thin hair or over-processed fried damaged hair. You don't have a lot of options. You know, old technology is something that people get stuck in. You know, whatever used to work is always going to work. And that's mm -hmm. not exactly what really happens in the real world. But shear strings is 50% lighter than any other system. And it is harder. You do have to be an expert. You do have to invest in practicing, training, you know, get your certification, which this person that was talking about that was certified. Well, so he says, we're going to do some investigating and see. But so he says he's certified, but that it wasn't worth it. You know, I mean, how insulting is that? That's like saying, you know, going to your dentist and saying, you know, I really want these beautiful porcelain veneers. And he says, you know, uh, that's too much work, but what I can give you is silver caps. That's exactly what it's like if you compare fusion and hair locks to strings. Yep. Old technology that doesn't have to be that way. You know what I mean? It can be lighter and safer and everything, but it does for the stylists out there that are steering their clients away from modern technology and going with the millennium and keeping up with trends. I just think it's a shame. I think it's rude, it's insulting, and it just shows that, that you don't believe in education and bettering yourself because we use 15 different types of extensions at Goddess Hair. Mm -hmm. But hands down, the number one system is Shear Strings from Japan, Microchet. And the reason is because we've seen it, like people like you, who had no other options because mm -hmm. the way your hair was, it was breaking on the bottom, it was extremely fine, it was over-processed, it was brittle. Had I put any other system on you, you would have seen the, you would have definitely seen the bonds from keratin. Oh, yes. And if I would have put locks on you, it would have broke your hair and they would have slid out. Yeah. If I would have put double hair on you, you would have been very limited to what you could do. If I would have put, you know, uh, sewn in weave wefts on you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but you see what I mean? You had yeah. options, but not really. Yeah. At the end of the day, the trade-off wasn't worth it. So I just wanted to say you know if you are out there and you've heard of micro or Japanese share strings that's what these videos are for call me I'll give you 50 people all over in your area that you can call and actually not only talk to them by phone go to them meet them for a coffee at Starbucks touch their hair look inside I challenge you to do that because that's what we're all about we will prove to you that what what we say is the real deal okay it isn't hype because I don't care what kind of system you're wearing, as long as you're happy and you think you look good. But at the end of the day, it's hard-earned money that you're investing, and you want to look good and be safe. You want it to look really good and be undetectable. Now, that's a big thing, too. So I'm sorry. I'm a little bit bitter. That was my little rant <laughs> there. I'm a little bit bitter when I hear that people are turning other people away from something that could benefit them. Because I've had girls bawling in my chair because their hair snapped at two inches all over. And that happened to me when I was in my... Well, I won't say, but a few years ago around my birthday, I almost gave it away. <laughs> Dang. Before, it was before strings came along. Though. Way before strings. Yes. And, uh, and I actually had a big trip coming up. I was going to Florida, and my hair was bleach blonde, and I had a system in that wasn't really safe for me. The girl really didn't, the girl that was doing my color didn't really understand extensions, and she did a couple things wrong. And basically, I left that salon before my trip to Florida that year looking like Sinead O'Connor. And it was devastating. And I'm a hairdresser. I had to walk out of there, and there was no quick fix. But it was a wig for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was going to Florida where I was going to go swimming and things like that. So I've been there and done that. So when I tell you that something's good, something's light, something's safe, it's not hype. It's based on facts. So I encourage you guys, call me up. Let me um, introduce you to people in your area that you can actually get to know and look at their hair and then make your decision. We're not in a hurry. We're not going anywhere. We're going strong now for four years doing micro in the United States, and we're really happy. So thank you for tuning in to Goddess Hair Channel and Taylor Made Inc. And I'm Lauren Taylor, and this is Ginger, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.